Welcome to another episode of the Valorant Tips and Tricks used by you series. A series where I show Valorant Tips and Tricks that you guys used in game. Like always, everybody who submits in a trick has a chance to win a battle pass. So if you want to win the next one, feel free to submit your tricks in the Discord server. Also, I want to thank everybody for the support lately. At this rate, we might even grow bigger than No Cat No Life 2. With your help, we can do it. And now, let's start the video. Let's start with a sneaky trick on Icebox. At the start of the round, go to this corner, aim up, and make sure there's a little gap underneath the belt. When you shoot your ball and you move towards belt it looks like a normal wall to block of the enemies but in fact when you go to this corner there's a sneaky spot you can see through the enemies probably don't expect you peeking over there so easy peasy kills for lil clorox Nobody saw that with my friend. Before I go further, I want to ask you guys a question. Am I the only one who is sometimes watching YouTube videos or Twitch streams in between Valorant rounds? I know it's not the right thing to do, but it just happens. But did you know that when you open a lot of browsers, it might affect your in-game performance? Luckily, with the sponsor of this video, Opera GX, you don't have this problem. Opera GX is a web browser designed for gamers. One very handy feature Opera GX has is the GX control. With this, you can limit the amount of RAM and CPU Opera is using. And you could also use the network limiter to limit the network bandwidth all with the purpose to help increase your in-game performance and this is just one feature you could also link all kind of apps like your twitch to get notifications of your favorite streamer or your discord to of course get easy access to your favorite discord channel what i personally really like about this app is that it looks so clean most other browsers are just looking very boring while this app has tons of customized options like special teams wallpapers and colors and when you go to settings you could even force dark mode on all the pages that you visit this way you don't get flashed by bright screens but you get nice dark pages when you open new ones and did you know that if you go to the link in the description download opera gx and go to gx corner you'll have an exclusive feature where you'll be able to see my 12 latest uploads that's pretty dope so download it for free my friends and now let's continue the video let's continue this video with a cool but risky brimstone trick as most of you guys know the brimstone ultimate does less damage on itself so what you can do is use your ultimate and walk through your own ulti to kill the enemies from an unexpected angle it's very risky but in sticky situations in a 1v2 where the enemies know where you are for example it could be useful i mean look at this clip from titan hunters good job dude oh, now look at this beautiful ace oh they're here Ciao. i'm trapped i'm trapped what the a very risky play, but a very nice ace, dude. Well played. One tip though. Of course, when you go to that corner, don't place your trap over here. The enemies will be able to see it and might get suspicious. Instead, place your trap at the other side of the wall at the start of the round. The enemies won't be able to see it, destroy it, and you're still able to teleport. Very nice. Now a simple trick, but it is so effective. When you stand in the pit on Pearl, you could easily wall bang through this wall. Combine it with the sofa arrow or a fate octopus, for example, and easy kills. My now let's go to Icebox for an aggressive Sage play. Where you take the zip line, jump off the middle box, go to screens and use your wall. The nice thing about this wall is that it blocks off middle so the enemies won't be able to shoot you. Until you walk further of course. Perfect play to surprise the enemies and especially if there's a Viper wall over there. They won't see it coming. <laughs> In last video I showed that you could dash underneath the sewers on Pearl. I thought that it wasn't that useful but apparently Katioso got a nice kill with it. Also, um, what is that my friend? That's just too big dude. To aim with, to aim with. Now look at this mega brain clip. This guy is so smart. At first the enemy brimstone was shooting but then he stopped because he thought that the omen was walking. Easy peasy around my friend, so when you want to defuse, jump and immediately start. You might fake the enemies out. When you are smoked off, you can use this nasty trick. Simply look at the minimap and as soon as you see a dot of the enemy, aim where you see the dot. Shoot, get a kill and get blamed by the enemies for wall hacking. Well played, my friend. Oh, please leave the call. I'm in a venue. Now let's go back in time for a trick I showed in one of my earliest videos. When you place your sage wall over here, you could stand on top of the wood and look towards the side. It's such a sneaky trick, my friends, and I'm glad it's still working. Nice. One tip though. If you ever want to use this trick, don't place your wall like this, but place your wall like this. This way you block off middle so it looks like a normal wall, but in fact you're still on the same spot. And let's stay on B-side bind for a trick Woody used. With Viper, after you plant a spike in this corner, you could go to Cubby, aim at the container and use your ultimate. When you do this, there's a small gap in your ultimate at the right of the container. So what you gotta do is chill there and the enemies might not expect you there. They probably think that you either ran to long or hookah. And on top of that, when you hear the defuse, crouch, aim at the middle of the iron corner and shoot your poison. It will land on the spike, so easy win for you. Woody said that he got this trick from Jinsult, so credits to him. But good job, man. Easy peasy, one versus four. Or is it or? 
Nice. Nice. Man oh man, if you know how to play Viper, she is so overpowered. Now a simple trick that could be very effective. If you want to peek with Cypher, you could place your cam and peek immediately. The enemies might get distracted so you can get a nice kill. Well done, Mr. Bacon. In Lost Tips and Tricks video, I show this nasty trick. When you go to this corner, aim down, the enemy doesn't see you if you use some agents. Chamber is one of those agents. First spawn. What the? Yes, very good trick. However, you can actually counter this a little bit. If you jump, you are able to see the enemies. So when you're pushing B, always jump for a second. Big brain, do you remember this jet glitch? On Icebox, you could use your updraft and float on these pixels. It's very OP and luckily Riot Games removed this. However, when it was in the game, Sati had a funny moment. He got knocked on the pixel spot because of the enemy breached his ultimate. Why don't I have this problem, my friend? Easy peasy kills for you. What the... Did you know that when Fate uses his ultimate, the enemies won't be able to hear the omen TP? That's a pretty OP combo that Kilko used on Split. I miss Split, my friend. <laughs> Now look at this clip. Ram tried to use the one-way cage. cage triggered. One enemy remaining. At first this trick looks very good, but you have to be careful. This is because this isn't really a one-way. The enemy standing underneath will still be able to see almost everything. However, luckily you can make it work. When you know the last guy is underneath and there's no one else alive, you could use this cage and jump on the boxes in the middle of the side. Now the enemies really won't be able to see you and you can kill them when the smoke disappears or maybe even when they walk a little bit too much towards you, then you'll be able to see their feet. Now look at this clip, easy peasy kills. Oh my god, nice. Yes, if you stand on stairs and you see smoke over there, always wallbang like that. Ace. Also, will Barn Don't get the ace? Of course he does, my friend. Yes, no, 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 just please. Now let's go to Icebox for another trick from Woody. On beside, a lot of people like to plant the spike behind the orange container. So what you can do as Viper is simply throw your smoke around the corner. Chill a bit next to nest and when you hear the enemy is planting the spike, activate your smoke, throw your poison and there's a high chance that the enemies will die. This is how you prevent the plant. Now let's look at some trick shots. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Oh. Okay, the last one wasn't really a trick shot, but he just trapped the enemy. That's pretty funny. In one of my earliest videos, I showed this pixel spot, and apparently, it's still in the game. Pretty OP, my friends. And fun fact in the clip you are about to see, you see Reyna first shooting down and then suddenly going up. And because she had to go up, she lost the battle. Well played, Vince. <laughs> And while we're talking about old tricks, this also still works pretty OP. Hey guys, this is so nice. My ally. Oh. That was you. Oh. 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 oh! Did you ever play Valorant where the floor is lava? Apparently, the Void Slayer did. And this is it my friends. Thank everybody for submitting their tricks. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I see you guys in the next one. Peace.